Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. The number one question I am asked often from both players and parents is how can I play with more confidence or how can I get my child to play with more confidence in games? I have been highly successful in helping my players overcome their confidence hurdles. And I don't want to keep my secret to myself, my players, and the parents that trust me with those players. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to play basketball with confidence. Let's go. In this video, I'm going to tell you the secret to creating confidence. This works for every player every time. Then I'm going to tell you the key to rallying confidence at will. If you don't know this, you will never be that confident player you want to become. Last, I'm going to tell you the secret I utilize to play with confidence in every game. Let's get right into the secret to creating confidence. It's called utilizing your conscious mind. See, with your conscious mind, you can only store up to two to four things. That's all your memory is for. It's a short term thing. So the key to it is learning how to empty out stuff that does not bring you value. We also call that decluttering and keeping things on the top of your mind, AKA your conscious mind, keeping things simple. So I want to show you this. Okay. Now we talked about the conscious mind. Okay. The conscious mind. So the conscious mind, I also want to give you a couple of things. Look this stuff up and challenge me. I want to keep it simple. Don't want to go into too much of the data, but this is the stuff I've studied over the last 10 plus years as a coach. When I teach basketball, I teach you life. So I want to keep this as simple as I can so you can focus. Now, the conscious mind. This is where you can accept and reject things. It's also known as our higher mind, right? This is where we are able to think and process things, right? Where we can actually say no or yes, right? No different than saying I can accept or reject something, right? And, and keeping it so you can understand if you are smart and intelligent, you want to only keep between two to four things at a time on your conscious mind, because that's all you can really process. Okay. Now, with that being said, I ask a simple question. Do you like, or do you prefer chocolate or vanilla ice cream? If you answered chocolate, what you did was, first of all, I kept it simple. You're going to at least accept one of the flavors and reject the other. You said yes to one and no to the other. You were able to think about what I asked you and process it. It's your higher mind. Okay? So, to play with more confidence is to really keep now the top of your mind, and I'm going to draw this circle, I'm going to come back to, CM does not stand for Charlie Miller, it stands for conscious mind, your higher mind, you only want to keep up to two to four things on. Now let me share with you what you got to keep on there. I'm going to keep it to three. One, how can I make my Team mates better. Notice that that's not a physical skill. This is a focus tool. The skill that I build is for service. It's for serving my team and my coaches so we can win. See, see your conscious mind, you can't house... Your, your physical skill, your habits, your behaviors. This is your focus tool. So you want to have that on your mind. That's one of the four things, right? But I'm going to give you three. The second thing you want to have on your mind is 
your coach's playbook. What is your coach's playbook? What is your offensive plays, your defensive plays? What is your uh, trapping situations? What are your offensive uh, 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 fast break situations? What are your defensive fast break situations? See, it's all about, again, service. Because you're focusing on the job at hand, at getting better, playing with confidence, right? You're, you're, again, the top of your mind does not house your habits. It does not house it, right? So, so last, watch this. What happened last play? What happened last play? What happened last possession? If it was positive, keep doing it on both sides of the ball. If it was negative, find another solution, which then gives you, again, the top of your mind is the focus tool. It's a, it's a focus tool, and focus for me stands for this. Write it down. Find one course until successful. That's focus. See, this is about service. Players that are very confident, they're not thinking about their physical skill. They're not thinking about their physical attributes. They're thinking about playing to serve their way to the top, and they understand their contributions and actions are very high because they're keeping these three things like this on their focus tool mind, their conscious mind, where they can accept and reject. I'm going to reject thinking about my physical skill, and I'm going to accept thinking about my teammates getting better, the coach's playbook so I can understand also my scoring options on offense, what I got to do defensively stay on the court, and then lastly, what happened last play? Am I aware? I might have the game could help my teammates still be on top and abreast of what happened last play. So we learn what not to do and continue to do what to do. Before I show you the key to rallying confidence at will, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out videos daily to help develop you into a premium basketball player. Don't miss out on the content. Click the subscribe button. Now I'm going to show you the key to rallying confidence at will, okay? This, see, it all starts with your subconscious mind, right? Your subconscious mind. So if I draw that circle again, we have the conscious mind being the higher mind, the subconscious mind is the lower mind. This is your storage tool. This is where all your behaviors, habits, actions are stored. Right? This is where they're stored. So before I go into really that circle, let me give you some keys. Subconscious mind. First, you can only accept, cannot reject. You wonder why sometimes you shoot the basketball across your body. You wonder why sometimes a defender gets in front of you, you feel a certain way. That's habits. That's all it is. That's all this habits. You can only accept, you can't reject. Okay? Second, it's a storage place. It's where you go to recall. Again, it's a habit. A habit, by definition, to keep it very simple for you, is a fixed idea. You want to become a good shooter, you keep shooting it. Yes, it's not just about repping, getting a lot of shots. It's a certain way you do it, and you overlearn the skill and anything you overlearn ends up going down to your subconscious and it's stored. So all you have to do is actively recall the mechanics and whatever physical skill that might be, and you're gonna be near perfect, aka accurate. Right? So so then also look this stuff up. Your subconscious mind can process up to eleven million bits a second. We can't even blink that quick. 
But if I go, I, I, like I asked you a question about chocolate vanilla ice cream, right? And if you are a parent or a coach, and I say, hey, who was your favorite high school teacher? I actually set you up. I said, favorite high school teacher. You said, let, let, you'll say, let me think about that. And then within seconds, you'll probably give me an answer. Well, I may not have a favorite one. I can tell you one I didn't like. Well, you know what? All of them were favorite. Give me one name. Give me a couple more seconds. I'll give you a couple more seconds. And bang. It's something that you didn't focus on for a while. It's just that I put you in a state to reflect and you were able to recall at a moment's notice throughout your storage bin the habit of who was your favorite teacher. It probably could have been about the subject, right? But it more than likely probably went to how they made you feel. So when you're thinking about this particular person, they made you feel good. You went down to your storage tool, to your subconscious mind, it's fixed in there because you were able to recall the feeling. And then you process the information somebody you probably hadn't thought about in years, and you said, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Johnson, why? Because they made me feel this way. They actually taught me how to do math. We, we talked about the point of emphasis at rallying confidence at will, all because you can actually actively recall things at a high rate. So it's what I call, see, the reason why you build skill. You build skill, now I'll be going back to my circle, right? The conscious mind, higher mind, I can accept and reject. The subconscious mind, I can only accept. This is where my habits are stored, my behaviors, my actions. That's why you got to be careful what you say to yourself, because after a while, you keep saying it consciously, it's going to get down to them habits. It's going to be tough to get out, right? It's going to be real tough to get out, Okay. But now I can, I can rally my confidence because at will, I'm able to, at a high, what I call a high active recall rate, right, a high percentage, I'm able to recall at a moment's notice my skill. See, skill needs to get down to the field level. That's where storage is at. You gotta build skill that you feel. And that becomes, that's what's down in the subconscious. That's why I say it's a fixed idea. So now that you know how to use your conscious and subconscious mind to play with confidence, I want you to come in below with, I got this, to show us you are ready to implement your new confidence on the court. Go ahead and drop I got this in the comments. Now I'm going to tell you the secret I utilize to play with confidence every game. See, first, let's go back to this. Now keep it simple. My focus tool, which was my conscious mind. I made sure to my focus Again, my acronym, find one course until successful. I made sure I stayed present. I made sure I stayed aware. I wanted to be aware of what was going on at every time I was on the court, every time I came out of the game. I was focused on my teammates, as I said before. I can help them get better. What was the coach's playbook? What was our coach asking for? There was a play we always ran on defense called 35. It, it was a run and jump. If you know what I mean by run and jump defensively, it was a junk defense. It was a trap. We called it a th number. It was a, it was a full court trap. Right after we score, I know he's going to yell 35 to put pressure on people. Right? I understood the coach's playbook. I understood where to be, where my teammates had to be to hold all of us accountable. Right? Right, and then lastly, what happened last play? If we run in a play and it's working, running Cobra, Cobra for us was a, I set a screen at the top of the key and I get a screen to catch a lob at the rim. If it didn't work, the point guard shot the basketball. If it worked, the point guard pretended to shoot it, he threw me a lob. I went up for a dunk or I laid the ball up. See, that was all about the skill that I built over time, which then was in my storage tool Right, my subconscious mind, my habits, behaviors, right, what my, my that was down here. 
I was able to recall at a high rate so I can focus, be present and aware to those things I talked about. Not about me, it was about we, right? So understanding that, utilizing my focus tool, this is another thing I want to give you. See, I focused on making one great play at a time. See, I didn't focus on making 25 plays ahead. I focused on the play I was in. Whether I was on defense, whether I was on offense, it doesn't matter. I focused on what was in front of me, not what was behind me and not what was coming too far ahead of me. Where am I? Am I in the now? See, again, I'm challenging you. Notice I'm not here talking about what you got to do and how you got to game up. No, this is about what we have to do. If you've got your focus mind on your team, teammates and your coach is getting better and proven, watch how your storage tool is going to be able to actively call the stuff we're talking about at a moment's notice. Because I, again, going back, I focus on making one great play at a time, right? It, it, and so I trusted my skill and I built my skill in practice so I can focus and play in the games. I'm out of my head and I'm on the court. Now that you know how to play basketball with confidence, how would you like to have a guide that covers all the muscle basketball principles and how to apply them with confidence? Well, you are in luck. If you click in the link in the description of this video below, you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.